Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancers, we're going to take a look at your person, how they might be viewing you, any possible action that they may take towards you. And if these messages resonate with you, I, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Cancers for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so your person is showing up as the Five of Swords. They're viewing you as the world and possible future action, the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Empress energy. Wow, really strong Taurus and Libran energy coming through, but also Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius and Sagittarius coming through. Those signs may or may not resonate with you. So the Empress energy is this person is absolutely coming towards you. For some of you, they're coming back around. This person sees you as their destiny. This person sees you as everything that they, they've wanted. This person, all I can say, Cancer, is this person wants to get with you, the Empress, wildly attracted to you, seeing you as having everything they could possibly want or need. All right, let's see. Why do we have the Five of Swords here? Ace of Swords, this person, they want to move on from any conflict. They know they need to come in and tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And you've got a King of Swords, somebody with strong air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, possibly a, a Venus in Aquarius, um, although it doesn't have to be. But your person, they know what they want, Cancer, and that's you. And for a lot of you, it may be a reconciliation. For others of you, it could be a secret admirer. But this person is seeing you as their divine counterpart, as their person. They're seeing you as the world card, the best of the best. All right. Some of you, they're worried that things are over between the two of you. Okay. Ooh, for some of you, this person might be worried that you have other options. Um, this person sees you as multifaceted can cancer, and they see you as really being able to handle pretty much anything. And we see the fool card. Wow. Aries energy. This person finds you to be fun, spontaneous, vivacious, kind of up for anything type energy. But this person, the, the world and the fool card, it's like they see you as the alpha and the omega. Cancer, this person is absolutely in love with you. 100% <laughs> in love with you. Now, some of you, it might be a secret admirer. Others of you, it is somebody that you've dealt with or you're not talking to right now. But the wheel of fortune tells me this person's coming towards you. They're coming towards you. Now, the Ace of Cups in reverse, they do not want to miss this opportunity with you. And a lot of you, they might be making some sort of proposal. Um, beware of pregnancy. Okay, some of you, maybe there has been an unexpected pregnancy. Um, but that's not going to be for all of you. The Queen of Pentacles, this person, they want to invest in this connection. I think they're worried that you're not going to invest in them. Yep, and for a lot of you, they want to heal things. The Ten of Swords in reverse. They want to, um, yeah, they, they absolutely want to heal things with you, Cancer. Wow. All right. Very powerful messages here. So we have, all right, so we have this evidence energy. Okay. We've got a lot of cards that just came out. We'll take them all. Wish granted. All right. So trust your intuition, Cancer. Um, some of you, this could be a third party situation. Yeah, some of you, they're solving some money problems. Some of you, they needed to finalize a divorce or a separation, okay? Uh, like I said, for some of you, there's been an unplanned pregnancy. Um, again, that's not going to be for all of you, but this person, I, I don't know, this person, it feels like they have a lot to offer. I think this person is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. Um, but it does look like there may have been some sort of issue here, solving an issue, maybe solving money problems, but maybe also, like I said, settling a divorce or alimony, um, possibly leaving another connection here. They are going to come in with the truth, though. And with the, with the King of Swords and the Upright, I do feel like you can trust what this person is going to tell you. Um, you can trust what this person, um, like they're, they're coming in with sincerity for sure. All right, let's see. What, what is it that they want to tell my Cancers? I love you unconditionally. Holy smokes, okay? And I don't know how to feel, so they might be feeling, 
I, I don't think they're confused at all about your feelings or how they're feelings for you. Um, I, I get that they might at times feel a little bit overwhelmed. All right. And I'm in a committed relationship. So for some of my cancers, this may be a third party and it may be one that you've always kind of known about. For some of you, it's a third party and an unplanned pregnancy. Okay. For some of you, this person may be ending a connection. Okay. Um, because it's like they love you unconditionally. Um, so they may have been in an, in an unhappy connection. I know a lot of you aren't going to like those messages, but I hate it's coming out here twice. And do I still have a chance? So they want to know if, yeah, can, can you still make this work? They don't want to miss an opportunity here with you, Cancer. Now, for some of you, the committed relationship could also be like a work contract or something like that. Um, because I do see finances are really, really important and possibly the third party energy. Okay, let's see. Your person, they want commitment. They want union. Okay, and they're going to take a chance. They're going to take a risk. And for some of my cancers, this person may be leaving another connection or some sort of commitment. Like I said, a job or a living situation or something along those lines to be with you. I mean, I just feel like this person doesn't want to miss this opportunity. Yeah, this person's definitely coming back around. Um, for others of you, um, this person is just very deeply committed to transforming this connection. And there's a lot of passion. You two have, you know, the same feelings for each other. Insane chemistry. You like each other equally, having fun. All right. But this person, this mask energy that you're, this person may have been hiding something, possibly financial issues, possibly, you know, another connection. Again, no good reader is going to recommend that you go back to someone who's been, you know, lying or cheating or doing you dirty. All right. And I, I don't feel that way though with this person, the king of swords and the ace of swords. For a lot of you, this person has really resolved or walked away from anything that was keeping you two apart. All right. So let's see final messages or advice, uproot bad habits. So you have let bad habits take hold of your life. It's time to uproot them and start fresh if you want to see a positive change in your life. So I feel like this is just about my cancers, you know, really just doing you, being the healthiest, happiest version of yourself. All right, yep. Focus on your energy. Your vibe is a gift. It's time to clear your auric field and protect it. Purify and restore your energy. So again, message is very clear for my cancers that you're meant to just be focused on healing, Focus on up-leveling, being the highest and best version of yourselves, and the first steps. To get ahead, you must take the first step, even without knowing the outcome. Just don't stay where you are. So I do feel this is an energy of taking a leap of faith here, Cancer, for sure, and an amazing story. I do feel that way. Like for a lot of my Cancers, I feel like something really beautiful is developing. Or, you know, I don't know if you've, it's like against all odds here, but some situations are more than meets the eye. While it may appear like an ordinary event, it could be magic unfolding. Don't judge a book by its cover. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like I feel there have been some major obstacles, but I feel like this person couldn't stay away from you even if they tried cancer. And I do feel like there's a bit of magic here unfolding. And some of you, it's just, you know, you never imagined, you know, in a million years that this person would come back around or, you know, you and this person would be single at the same time. Um... It feels like they're going to make some pretty serious sacrifices here to, to be with you. All right. So let's see what final messages come through for my cancers. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. We get that there's a lot of passion. All right. And we do get a little bit of this energy of obsession. But again, I feel like, you know, you live rent free in this person's head cancer. Um, I feel like they are kind of low-key obsessed with you, but I, I feel like they're obsessed with moving on. They're obsessed with making this something real, making this something very solid um, and secure. And I think they probably hide their feelings, so it's going to come as a bit of a surprise, but we get this double passion energy. So for me, Cancer, I'm seeing a very passionate new beginning here, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light cancers. Take care.